Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Kevin Pack here. Welcome to my channel. And if you guys already don't know who I am, I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon business owner and I like to teach people stuff. And as you can tell, your boy finally got a haircut. Oh my God, you know I've been talking about this for the last like four or five videos, but your boy mowed down the lawn so my head doesn't look like a jungle anymore and it looks like more like a front yard picket white fence. I went from this to now, this. Pretty happy to know that I could personally rock both styles, long hair or short hair, whatever the case may be. I think I could pull off both. So this is usually the time of the year in the summer where I'm just like, my head's getting hot, it's getting itchy, so we're gonna cut it all down. Now in this video, I want to help you guys improve your product listing and find more profitable keywords for your PPC campaigns in a better way to do keyword research. Now there's a lot of tools out there, but there's no tool that's better and more accurate than Helium 10's keyword research tool. They have Cerebro and also Magnet, and today's video will go over specifically on Magnet keyword research. So we'll discuss how to use Magnet and how to find more profitable keywords, little, little advice and tips here that will help you later on in your Amazon game. Now before we get started and hop onto my computer, I'm gonna show you guys my sales so you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller. Alrighty, it's about 2.30 p.m. We refresh that, boom, there you go, check it out. 22 sales so far, over $500 done in the middle of the day and $36,000 in the past 30 days. Two products are sold out right now, so you see that dip, but we'll have one active right now. In May, things are gonna get back in stock and everything, so hopefully my numbers will be good to go by then. But those are my numbers, and let's go ahead and hop on the computer. All right, so here we are on Helium 10, and you can see here, there's a bunch of different tools that Helium 10 has. I mean, there's the product research, trendsetter, Cerebro, keyword tracker, magnet, all these tools are available for you when you sign up on the platinum plan. Now, I'm telling you right now, when you guys sign up, you don't wanna just go one at a time or only pick out certain um, tools. You might as well just get the whole bundle. Just get the whole bundle. I have a discount in the link below. That way you have a full arsenal ready. And then when you're, when you're done with using the tool, you can just hit cancel whenever you want. But while you're in the process of, you know, finding a product or whatever the case may be, you want to use it and have accessibility to all your tools. So, so don't cheap out on tools that are going to help you make tens of thousands of dollars uh, per year, per month. Okay. So use the necessary tools, use them all to your advantage. And right now today we're going to talk about magnet. Okay. This is a keyword research tool. And what we're going to do is if you have a product running right now, let's say right now we're using an animal repeller, right? Getting animal repeller. It gives you a little scroll down, little options right there. I love Magnet because it's the most accurate tool. It takes data directly from Amazon and not additional information from like Google or anything like that. It doesn't mix it around. It's from Amazon. It uses its search tool from Amazon itself. That's why you see that, that drop down box of other, other keywords. So we're gonna pick up our main keyword. We're gonna hit get keywords. Let's say that Animal Repeller is our main product right now. Now what we're gonna use this tool for is to find those keywords that we're gonna put into our listing that are gonna be profitable, okay? Those are the ones that are gonna be helping us rank for that keyword so we're showing in front of more customers and on top of that, when we use it for PPC, it's gonna be profitable. So you can see, when you search in a keyword, you'll get a search volume right here and then on top of that, a graph next to it. This graph is going to show data of how much search volume uh, it's been getting in the past you know, few months, one year, 30 days, whatever the case may be. So we switch to 90 days, one year, and you can see the fluctuations. Fluctuations, we'll go one year, um, and it'll take as much, much of the recent data as they can. You can see obviously, day by day, month by month, search volume is not the same. So some tools will give you a fixed number of searches for the entire year, but, but on Helium 10, it actually fluctuates and gives you accurate data on Amazon and what people are searching for. So you can see things things are to start to pick up. Uh, things are low in Jan January, but in the in the summer months of May and July and June, the search volume is much higher. It's an animal repeller, it's an outdoor product, so it makes sense, right? So that's the great thing about Helium 10, their upgraded version. This is 2020. Their upgraded version allows you to see search volume history. So what this is great also is that you can see patterns of 
what the uh, seasonality of a product is. So you can tell this product is very seasonal because it's high in summer, low in the winter or the beginning of the year. So you can tell that there's some seasonality to this or if you have like a beach ball or maybe if it was, it was a jade roll, it'd be consistent all the way through. Maybe you have a giftable item so it'll be really high throughout the year and then really, really high, like 10 times higher during the holiday season Q4, December time. So it allows you to see trends. What we're gonna be seeing also is a CPR of an eight day giveaway. This giveaway is based off of getting your product up to the top number one, okay? so. Number one, not necessarily on the first page, but more so number one. You can see also the total keywords here. You can see the top selling products as well. I don't really pay attention to the distribution, but you see word frequency. You can see other keywords that are related to this main keyword. So that's important because now you can see other keywords that are working for other competitors that will work for you. So you can see here we have a bunch of keywords, 4,000 keywords, and we can narrow this down. So what we want to find are keywords that have some search volume that actually matter. So we don't want to find the keywords that have zero search volume like this or something that only has 200. We want to find the ones that are like a minimum, usually people say a minimum of like a thousand or so. So what we're going to look for, first we're going to start off with a thousand just to find our main keywords and our supporting keywords. Um, but we're going to go deep, deeper than that. Watch, I'll show you guys a little hack that I use that I teach in my course. Word count, we want a minimum of two words, not just one word. So I'm gonna leave the max out. Uh, you can filter it through the competing products. So how many competitors in art are on that keyword that are being searched for? Let's say a max, 3,000. We don't want anything more than 3,000, okay? We're gonna look at the advanced filters too. You can exclude any other phrases that you don't wanna see. We're gonna hit apply. Let's see what we get here. So we get 90 keywords. So now I'm going to organize this from high to low. Boom. So now we're going to get all these keywords that are related to the main keyword animal repeller. So now you have solar motion, sensor light outdoor, 33,000. Battery pack, well that one's not related so we're going to take that out. Strobe light, not related, we take that out. So we want to X out the, the keywords that are not related. But bird repellent, that is fox form, is not. Cat repellent outdoor, that is definitely part of our animal repeller product. So you get all of these potential keywords. Now these are high search volume keywords right here. High search volume. These are the ones you're gonna put on your listing. Title, features, description, back end, everywhere. You're gonna, find, you're gonna put it everywhere on your listing. And on top of that, you're gonna take this, these set of keywords and also apply it to your PPC campaign. Now what you can also do with this is put all these keywords into a broad match campaign and this will allow you to find more keywords off of these already. So they'll probably put you up in front of, you know, scroll repellent outdoor, but then it'll also put you in front of scroll repeller repellent outdoor for the summer or whatever, something like that, you know, something random like that. But it allows you to find more long tail keywords that are much more profitable. Okay. Now these are great in volume. All these are above a thousand. It's great. Now we can go down a little bit further. So we already know that this is between a uh, thousand and up, right? Now here's a little trick that I teach in my course. A lot of people don't do this. People don't realize that these search volumes with a thousand or more are competitive, number one, but also expensive. If we look for keywords that are on the lower search of search volume, we can find much more profitable keywords that won't cost you much. So let's change this from 500 to 1000 max, okay? Hit apply, let's see what we find. 67 keywords, 67 keywords that are much cheaper, much, much cheaper, okay? Then spending it on keywords that are 1000, 3000, 4000, 5000, way more competitive. Look at this, ultrasonic deer repellent solar power, search volume 500, no competing products on that one, nothing of relevance, but that could be yours. You could probably pull off one sale a day by using this keyword. That helps a lot. Now imagine if you do that for 10, 20 keywords that you find that are converting really, really well, but have minimal competing products. You're at the top. So you have all these keywords that you're gonna use and put them into a broad match campaign, phrase match campaign, whatever the case may be, 
And then now you have a much better foundation of keywords that you can rank for and become profitable on. That's the power of Helium 10 right here. That's the power of using Magnet. You can find really, really good keywords out here, long tail keywords that don't cost much. They'll make you sales convert well. You can see the trends of everything and it's always being updated. It's not fixed. It'll always be updating and letting you know when things change and everything. So this is why Magnet is such a great tool. And then you tie that in with Cerebro. Now you're gonna find keywords that your competitors are using to rank and make sales off of and you can put those together. Now you're finding, you're filtering even through the, the Magnet keywords, you're filtering through those. And with Cerebro, now you're gonna see the same keywords that are matching, but now you can take off the ones that don't really match. Or maybe use those keywords that your other competitors are not using and get sales from there as well. Overall, both are a very, very powerful tool, Magnet and Cerebro. It's a must to have these in order to improve your quality of your listing and then increase your sales and have much more profitable PPC. So hopefully you guys found this video very, very helpful. It's just a quick overview and tutorial of how to use keyword research for Magnet. Of course, the link in the description for discounts on Helium 10 so you guys can save some money. Um, this is the tool I use for my business day in, day out. So I really recommend you guys get on it. If you have any questions or you want more tutorials on Amazon, comment down below. Let me know what topics you want me to go over or how to you want me to go over and we'll get through it. So thank you guys so much for coming in. Link in the description for my course and the private Facebook group. I'll catch you guys in the next one, of course. Go make that money, all right?